Hi everybody, it's Sarah. Um, sorry I haven't updated in a while. I haven't really gotten anything until about two days ago, which was my new Scotch box. Um, I actually just got home from a trip to the Maryland Renaissance Festival. Um, we went over the weekend. It was really good. I definitely recommend it for anybody who's like into like historical time periods or slightly nerdy things. And if you're in Maryland, definitely go to the one in Crownsville or look up any of the ones you might happen to have in your community. So, anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get the box open. I was actually like very excited for this. I already looked at the videos on a couple other people's accounts and was very impressed with what I saw. Okay, so as per usual, we have the card, which tells you everything you got in your box. September 2013. Ha! Huh, I actually said it right this time. Okay. Let's look at the box. Ah! <laughs> that looks so cool. I like this one. Okay, so again in this month's box we have another sample of Umaibo. Um, which is Umai stick or yummy stick. And this one is corn. Um, I'm definitely like hankering to try this again, although I'll probably cut it in half and let my brother try some since last box I really didn't share anything because I didn't want to. So, um, I owe that to him. Okay, so, in the next box, I got the Ghana chocolate, which is just a regular chocolate bar, extra cocoa, um, by Lotte. Um, I've had their candies before. They're actually like really good. Um, hmm, what else do we have in here? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the Ajay Ichi Senbei, which is a fried shoyu rice cracker. I actually love and like adore rice crackers, so I'm really excited about this one. I can't wait to try it. Um, okay, the next one is, I believe, this is, yes, this is the Milky Matcha Candy. Uh, matcha means green tea, so this one is Milky Matcha Candy. It's kind of hard, so I don't really know what the texture of this is going to be, but looking forward to it. I'm not a big fan of matcha flavored things, but I mean, I'll try anything once or twice if I like it. <laughs> um, what is this? This is cute. Uh, hmm. I, I really don't know. <laughs> uh, well, let's go to something else first. Um, this is a Fujia Home Pie. Uh, obviously made by Fujia. And it's a buttery flaky pie. I'm really not sure what that's even supposed to mean. I'm assuming it's like a cracker because it seems like it might be crispy. So, um, I, I, I already recognize this. I know exactly what it is and I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I think they're so cute. Uh, another thing by Lotte is Koala's March. Koala's March is a chocolate cream filled biscuit and it's got a little picture of a koala on it. And I think um, I've seen before that there's over 150 different little pictures that you can get. So this is really neat. Um, uh, I got a pop candy soda lollipop made by Fujia, the same people that made the flaky pie, and you could get melon, cola, or ramione, and I'm pretty sure I got melon, since it's green. Uh, this is... Hmm, how do I pronounce that? 
Pecan Pen Jelly. Uh, hard jelly with a sugar coating. And I'm going to assume that this might be melon flavored. I'm really not sure. I'm a little bit afraid of it. So if anybody can like read that and tell me what it is, that'd be great. But I mean, I liked the Fua Fula jelly from last month's box, so I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy this too. Um, we have the Ichigo milk candy, which is strawberry milk candies. Um, I didn't, I never got the first box that they sent out because that was just, to, I guess, a tester box. And they had the regular milk candies. Well, these are strawberry milk, and I actually like strawberry milk a lot better. So, I'm sure that I'm really going to like these. Excuse me. And this, I'm assuming, is the Manju. Manju. Uh, it's a steamed azuki bean cake, and it comes in plain chestnut milk matcha or soba. Um, so I'm really not sure what's in here. Actually, like quite soft. So, like I actually can't wait to try it. Um, and the packaging is just so cute. Look at that. Like I love that. And. Um, I actually saw a lot of comments about this in the first box, and like, apparently, uh, Squishbox is really good at listening to their subscribers, because this is a giant bag of Kaki no Tane, um, which is, I think it's like persimmon seeds, and it's because the little spicy cracker things are shaped like persimmon seeds, and then there's peanuts, so, um... Yeah, they're definitely good at listening to their subscribers, and I actually didn't get this because this was in the first box, so I'm very eager to try it. And the last item this month is a, um, Keshigomu, it, which is an eraser, a soft eraser, uh, by Mono. Um, apparently Japanese erasers are the bomb diggity, and yeah, I really just said that, didn't I? Hm, I don't know. So, um, I'm definitely looking forward to trying it and seeing what all the fuss is about. So, um, I'm definitely really, really happy with this month's box. Um, there was a lot more in it than there was last month. Um, I think when I counted, it was like nine items versus eleven. Um, and they definitely... They're very good at listening to their subscribers because the Umai bow um, sticks were extremely popular last month and people who had not gotten the box were begging for it to be included in the box and you know they, they did listen and they shipped it out um, to ev all the subscribers and I'm sure like everybody who didn't get to try this and I'm sure like people who really loved it like me are really happy so um, I don't know I'm just I'm really, really, really pleased by this month's box. I, I, I can't be more pleased with it, and I will continue to be a subscriber. Um, check out the link below. I'm going to put a link down for Scotchbox. It's $12 a month. I recommend it for anybody who's looking to try something new, or for anybody who is interested in the Japanese food culture, or anybody really who's just, you know, who might have missed, who might have been there and missed it. Um, and it's, it's a really reasonable price. It ships very quickly. I um, mean, look at all that for 12 bucks. And I've actually, this is my second box, and both times I got it a day before um, the actual first of the month, which is the fastest I've seen of any subscription box, who always say, you know, the beginning of the month, but this actually shows up, like, either the beginning of or the day before. So, I definitely recommend it. I'll include a link below so you, you can subscribe and taste the awesomeness. And I'm not sure, but I might do a taste video for this. I'm not sure. I did just get home, and I am very tired. Um, but I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want. And have a good day.